Hello my gorgeous Taurus, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Hope you're all feeling absolutely amazing. So Taurus, let's jump straight in, shall we? I want to talk about you and a particular person. The person that you have in mind. So the reason why you are watching this reading. It's going to be about you and them. Some people say you versus them, but that sounds really kind of negative. It's like Taurus versus that person. No, I just want to talk about you and your person, the person of, of interest. And regardless of the type of connection that you have with this person now, I don't want to add any subtitles or um, just anything else to add to the topic, you and them, whatever the cards want to really reveal. For the collective watching this, including cross watches, you're all welcomed here. Let's get straight to the bottom of it. Now, Taurus, there will be an optional extended reading. Why? Why will there be? I haven't done this in a very long time for you. But you see, over here in YouTube, Taurus, I will be looking at both your energies, your energy, Taurus, and this person's energy. In the optional extended reading, I'm going to have a peek over the fence and I'm going to be reading exclusively from your person's perspective and only from their perspective in regard to you. I really want to dig deeper, you know, into that nitty and gritty into your person's current story. So what's happening with them right now? Their big thoughts about you, their big feelings about you. Is there anything that they're hiding or you are unaware of about your person? What do they want to do moving forward? And of course, what do they hope to achieve with you as an outcome? I'll be using two different decks. I've already got them lined. You, you can't see them, but they're already lined up there. And yeah, we are going to dive straight into that one. It's basically an extension of this reading. The link to your optional extended Taurus is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. It is available to purchase and you can instantly watch it. You can download it, take notes, take photos. It is your tool, right? So that is going to be there. This uh, also one announcement, 12 p.m. This Saturday, I will personally be doing your bonus weekend love tarot reading. And I, uh, it's an absolute pleasure for me to read for you, Taurus, because your messages are always very clear cut. Why? Because Taurus, you know what you want, you say what you mean, and you mean what you say. It will be time stamped, so we might get additional information about this situation or anything new that you should be aware of in the next coming weeks. So Saturday, 12 p.m. And of course, we'll do this only two more times and we'll jump straight in. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, you don't have to, but I do encourage you to subscribe to this particular channel. That way you are guaranteed, Taurus, to never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I, Fifi, do for you here in Australia every Wednesday without fail. Lots of free content available for you. It is currently now the 9th of October, 2024. It is Wednesday. Let's get straight into it. Here we go. Four, three, two, last one. For Taurus, please, and the person on their mind, regardless of the type of connection you have. I usually find out pretty early, but here we go. Bottom of the deck, someone's going to declare their feelings for you. How beautiful is that? This is someone you can actually trust. I know, believe it or not, right? This is someone now that you can trust despite past circumstances. We have the most romantic king, the king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Regardless, though, it does not matter their age, their star sign or their gender. They are embodying and they are pulling that energy of that King of Cups. This is someone that loves you. They love you hard. Perhaps I haven't even said it to you yet. Maybe they didn't declare their love for you, but they will. And if they did in the past, they'll do it again. This is someone that wants to come across as emotionally mature, emotionally available, grounded, intuitive, empathetic here. They want to work something out with you. Oh, this is good. I hope the rest of the reading turns out this way, um, that we continue with this beautiful energy. The sixes are all about healing. They're all about peace. They're all about forgiveness. The six of wands, Leo energy here is the minor arcana of the chariot in terms of victory. But timing here is just a little bit more slower. This person, I feel like they need to come around. You know, I always see like a flower that's like a bud. And when it finally opens up, you can admire the beauty. So I feel that this person really wants to work something out, but they're holding back here. The Eight of Swords. Are you holding back as well, Taurus? Are we talking to each other or are they just in the meantime holding back their feelings? Gemini energy. Why? Because their ego is telling them to do so. Their ego, which is 100% not psychic, right? The ego, let's say, is more suitable for our survival. 
um, but not for situations like this. It's 100% not psychic. The Eight of Swords here is pretty much telling you, you know, not you, but your person's worst case scenario. If I say this to Taurus, if I reapproach Taurus for whatever reason, they're probably going to hold back. Taurus probably doesn't like me. They're not attracted to me and all that. So they could be mentally a bit nervous here, very anxious and triggered here. This could actually just be out of sheer stubbornness not putting your person down we're all stubborn from time to time i know that i am sometimes right we're only human right so we've got the divine masculine here we have the emperor the king of all queens and it is aries energy this person has been planning sometimes they scare themselves out of it but i am seeing a very big declaration of love here and when the emperor which is the leader of their country they want to take control of this situation with you they don't want it to get out of hand they don't want you too far gone they're pre-planning this. They're making a plan. And I actually quite like that. Yeah, because if they don't, they're gonna, re they're gonna regret this for the rest of their life, the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. I do feel that this person here may be losing sleep. They could be quite nervous. For some of you though, not all of you, I'll say like half of you are not talking to this person anymore. The other half, it's like it's you're with this person, but it's not where you want it to be. And they're realizing, I gotta do something before. Taurus is too far gone. So even if they said something to you, they did something to you, they acted out, or for some reason they said to you, I can't fully commit to you right now, guess what, it's catching up to them. Now you can't see it because like, I don't have the best camera, but this person is actually crying. So if you wanna do Google, this is the Everyday Witch Tarot, and if you click and you put Nine of Swords, you zoom in, the person's actually crying. So yes, this person is losing a lot of sleep, and that is a very high mental stress card. Let's get to the heart of the matter. Yeah, obviously something's happened here because we've got the eight, the nine, and now we've got the 10 of swords. For some of you, perhaps this person also did a runner. This is about hitting rock bottom. The worst of the worst is behind you, Taurus. Now, this is the thing. I'm gonna say this very early. If you want nothing to do with this person, if you are completely over them, you don't even wanna talk to them. That is fair enough, right? It's probably they're not your reading. So I'm really kind of inclined to say, Taurus, if there is some of you that perhaps want to talk to this person or you just want clarity or closure, then this is definitely probably your reading, right? But this is about sad loss, endings, separation, divorce. Like I said, they probably did a runner. You got the best card in the deck, the head of the reading, my number one favorite card that I make a big deal out of. Might be dealing with a Leo, you don't have to. We have the sun, the happiest card, the most powerful card. And with the rays of the sun there, it is the biggest card of illumination. There is something that your person wants to come clean. Wow. Yeah. The high priestess, Pisces energy. Was your person being secretive, mysterious? Were they not telling you something that wouldn't have been good for you to know at the very start here? Because I feel like they know that your intuition is always spot on. That Taurus, you can smell BS a mile away. You can read between the lines. And if they don't come back correctly, then do not come back at all. This is my quiet card. You pretty much don't have to do anything. This is divulging and it's, you know, confession of secrets here. Look at that. So we had the King of Cups. Now we've got the Queen of Cups. We're not on the same page. The Queen of Cups has turned her back on this King and here they're waiting like, I love you. Do you love me? I see that you're putting yourself first. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You're all about self-love. That's not being selfish. That is self-love, that is self-respect here. And you demand that from other people. So I think that's wonderful. That's why we say power to you. Never, ever change for anyone. But dare I say this, Scorpio, do you still have feelings for this person? If you don't, remember, this is probably not your reading. But you know what? That's the thing. That's why I like to shuffle and deal the cards on camera. And I cannot control the cards that come out. But what I can do is read. And I can already see here that both of you still have feelings for each other. Perhaps that wedge between the both of you was some secrets, mysteries, lies, and boy, is it catching up to your person. Like a wet sponge that cannot absorb any more. Four of cups, cancer energy. Yeah, it's a bit of misery six company, right? So your person could be quite melancholic. I feel like you're more nostalgic, like you think of the good times, but you're more realistic in the sense like, hey, it is what it is. If he wants or she wants to fix it, they've got to do it. Your person here might be drinking quite a lot or they're doing something to numb the pain because it's like, what have I done? And it doesn't matter how many times they get a brand new shiny drink, nothing here can actually fill that void. So they could be feeling emotionally depressed right here. Mm, that this is a missed opportunity but there is still hope, there is still light at the end of the tunnel here. 
Life has become a bit mundane, a bit boring for them. <sighs> They've got the lovers. Gemini energy, often described as a perfect match, the soulmate relationship, traditional tarot, we have Archangel Raphael showing that there are challenges. This could be separation here, but we need to make a choice from the heart when we come back together. And there's a very big chance of healing here. So I do believe, like I picked up with the King and the Queen of Cups, I think you both still have feelings for each other. There's been some type of falling out. There's been some challenges here. So for some of you, this could be a full blown ex. For others, which I'm kind of picking up the vast majority of you, these are the current challenges that you're having currently right now with this person. Even if we're not talking, we've taken a break. That was always going to be temporary. Look what we've got. The major arcana of Aquarius. We have the star of hope, faith, renewal. It's often depicted that this is the one. You may need a bit more convincing and that is fair enough. But the star is linked to your destiny and your person's destiny, which I absolutely love right now. Washing away all the past pain here. Oh, get caught there with my cord. Now, I always say this is a very basic blueprint. We're just scratching the surface. Let's get more messages. Split the deck. Yeah, we're coming back together. That's my favorite 10. The 10 of cups, Pisces energy, is your happily ever after. It is pretty much being with the one. It's commitment, engagement, marriage here. Everything that you wanted, Taurus, in a relationship, it's everything that they want in a relationship here. We're both going to get it together. Oh, wow. So I'm wondering, was your person lying to you? Was there any manipulation here? Where Did they fall through with their promises? We'll do this, we'll do that, nothing happened. And I just feel like here you thrive with or without this person. You're single as a Pringle. Some of you probably consider yourself single. Some of you don't. Um, I do feel that you're kind of your heart. Your heart is still loyal to this person, but there has been some differences and now it's really catching up to your person emotionally. I just split the deck. We've got you. So when I split the deck, we briefly, very briefly get to the heart of the matter. This is the mother of all offers and it's going to deeply affect you in a positive way because that's Taurus energy. That is commitment, marriage, creating something but on a solid ground not on sand here we go more information that taurus should know about their person please and this is good sometimes not adding subtitles or anything else to a reading it really kind of allows uh, you know the whole deck really just to show you what we need to know not necessarily what we want to know all right here we go now two more last one I just feel you, you're you really in control of your emotions. I feel like some of you have actually mastered your emotions. It doesn't mean it hurts any less, but I don't see you like literally crying every day. It's affecting your life and all that. Let's see. Wow, we got the tower. This definitely came crashing down like a guillotine, Scorpio energy. This is the downfall of the connection. I feel like it came crumbling down. Many of you could have been blindsided. The last thing you thought that this was going to end. Either you never thought you were going to end it, or we never thought in a million years, a trillion, billion years that this person was going to end it. It's not all doom and gloom because you see, there is a chance to rebuild this tower. So i.e. the relationship, but this time on a firmer foundation, just like I was saying with the Ace of Pentacles. Your person wants to talk about this. I do believe this is soulmates in separation. This is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. It is Sagittarius energy and the messages are all coming to you. Incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing and so forth. I love the Eight of Wands. It is literally always the bearer of fantastic, beautiful news. And I believe your person wants to pick up the pieces and move forward with you because that is you right there, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There is something here about not only recommitting, but for some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the vast majority of you, let's go even further into the future of marriage. And look at that, we do have the marriage card with the Hierophant, also known as the High Priest, and that is you, that's Taurus energy. They're on their way, get ready. They are on their way with the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. We also have the Four of Cups twice. So I think both of you, might be quite um, melancholic, missing each other. That, you know, it's a shame your person did this, that they were secretive, they didn't treat me right. This is a golden opportunity now that they have missed. Now they want to recapture that. So let's split the deck. Wow. 
literally going from strength to strength. It's the card of unconditional love. It is ruled by Leo and it's not about killing the line. It's not about dominating or even controlling the line. It's about taming the line, i.e. taming our emotions, not letting things get out of hand. I see your person is building up their strength and their courage to face you. I mean, of course, it's very brave of you, Taurus, to even look at this person once more. That's actually quite courageous. What is the sun bringing, please? Wow, we've got the emperor, the king of all kings, right? Ooh, okay. I think they're going to do something pretty big and bold, and it's going to flatter you. Because the there's the emperor again. Because the emperor always, remember this as a rule of thumb, they will make big, grand gestures, right? To make sure that they catch your attention. But they've been pre-planning this for a while. So I am wondering, Taurus, when was the last time you spoke to this person? When was the last time you were in the same room? When was the last time we had this falling out with that tower? Right? We only are a few shy days away now from Scorpio season. That might be quite significant for the vast majority of you. But they are about to do something, propose something here that's going to make you feel very happy. So they do come in peace. And yes, their intentions are good. Let's talk about the high priestess, please. The king of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I always preach that the king of wands and the emperor are almost identical, except the emperor wields a lot more power. They're like best friends, twin brothers, first cousins, the two uncles that get along and finish each other's sentences here. So I actually do like this. Instead of judging their past, I'm kind of more judging, of course, in a nice way, what they're doing now and what they want into the future. They want to take control of this. And I can see here that they've got equal amounts of passion, i.e. the physical side of the relationship, but also the emotional and the romantic side of the relationship. This person finds you extremely attractive. The passion for you is literally through the roof. So yeah, they, it's like, I'm going to take control. I actually want it's almost like they want you to admire them, not in an egotistic or superficial way. It's like they want to show you with their actions. Look at this. They want to go above and beyond to take control of this and to come clean, especially if there was any mysteries or any lying, if they were in denial about themselves, about their feelings for you. Now they come with a confession, the Queen of Cups. We've got the lovers twice. Now, many, many moons ago. Oh, we're talking about very old tarot. It was called Choices but choices from the heart. Taurus, the spread is actually asking you. Now it's your turn. You will have to make a decision, right? What is your heart whispering to you? Because there are times we need, we need to be kind of, you know, listen to our mind and not put emotions in play here. This is different. Your person is reapproaching you from a place of their heart because of their feelings. And dare I say this, I think both of you still have very strong feelings for each other. And a lot of you are wondering, what if? What if? They'll be answering all your questions here. This person absolutely loves you. They only want to be with you and only you. And yes, they will own up. They will fess up. They will take control here of all the errors that they have done. Anytime that they hurt you, they, you felt very disappointed. The reason for why this tower came crashing down and left you alone to pick up the pieces. Now it's like, that's never going to happen again. Let's talk about that four of cups with your person. They want to talk to you. We've got the king of swords. Now the king of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy is the master of communication. The king is wielding that sword up. So I am seeing very strong masculine energy here, right? Even though I do preach gender is not important, can't help to notice that we've got a lot of divine masculine. Could be you, could be the person that you are dealing with. It's almost like emotionally they're saying enough is enough. I'm too depressed. How long am I going to sit here feeling sorry for myself? I'm going to talk to Taurus. Wow. If this person was very quick to cut you out of their life, if you notice they were very cold, they were not understanding, that is something they want to address. Now I'm actually seeing with this combination, they're actually just blaming themselves. They're not putting any blame on you. They do realize I was probably extremely stubborn, inflexible. It was my way or the highway. So yeah, for some of you, like I said, this could be a full blown ex, or it's just someone that you have right now that you have history with. But yeah, no, regardless, look at this. Let's talk about the lovers. Oh my God. The lovers is clarified by the big card of reunion, which is a six of cups, Scorpio energy, bringing out our inner child, loving to have fun, belly laughs. We laugh and we smell so hard at our stomach and our mouths hurt. We're developing abs because we're like laughing so much. This is reunion. For some of you, there could be children involved. For others, 
And I do feel it's a minority of you. This actually could have been a friend that actually exposed their feelings to you, right? Um, but I'm not getting that's a lot of you. The most it could just be five of you watching this. But regardless, if this is an ex, it is a reunion. If it's someone that you're dealing with now, we are still coming back together because there is unfinished business. This person wants to come clean. More importantly though, they want to step up and take control of this situation. So whatever action they're doing here, that's gonna, you're gonna feel very flattered. I would feel flattered as well because it's nice to know that someone really, really, really wants you for the right reasons. The star, please. What is a star healing? Oh my God. Look at this. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. This person loves you. It's almost like they don't know how to express it. This person loves you so much that it probably hurts. It probably scares them. This person wants you and only you, Taurus. Whatever falling out we had, you know. You know exactly, Taurus, because you know this person better than anyone else. Better than what I know them, right? You know the reason why that, that tower came crashing down. Either you make that come crashing down or they did. Now they want to talk to you about it. Mm-hmm. Because they're depressed without you. They want to commit to you and only you and they're on their way. Now you see when you understand the symbology and the story of every card, the story unfolds on its own. And the fact that we've already got the emperor twice, right? We've got the lovers twice. They are returning. They want to take control of this, but get ready. They're going to make a big grand gesture that's going to make you look twice and think, okay, let me think about it. But first they do want to talk. And I feel Taurus, you know, that's the correct thing to do. That before we explore our heart and our emotions and we make any decisions from the heart here, we need to talk. And that's going to lead to clarity here. And I do feel that you already kind of know where you're leaning towards is that we're coming back together and it's going to be better than ever. This is especially true if you want to hear from your person again, if you want to explore the possibility of healing this connection. So this is where it gets interesting. I've looked at both energies. If you are curious, if you need more insight, maybe you need a bit more convincing, do check out your optional extended reading. I'll be using two different decks. I'll be using the pyramid spread. Um, in this instance, we're gonna have a peek over the fence and I'm gonna find out everything that's happening with your person right now as if they came to me for a reading about you and i'm getting to know your person one-on-one -on -one. so the link is below i'll see you on the other side power to you never ever change for anyone always retain your power and i will see you also this saturday at 12 p.m bye taurus